Turku, Finland, by way of Kurdistan. Mark one, Mr. Finland, Amir Khani! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 12 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Wigan, Greater Manchester. A referee in charge. Finland, Makwan Amirkani. Two wrestlers. Ready. Of course, Mike Grundy Ready. was a Commonwealth medalist in freestyle wrestling. I remember speaking to Makwan Amirkani when he first came to the UFC. He had hundreds of wrestling contests and straight in on a single. I mean, that goes was Mike Grundy, but he's left his neck there and gotta yeah. be careful Amir here. Amirkani's got an, a head and arm set up. I mean, he has left his neck, but I think he's going to be okay. But the, the entry, the right hand to the double leg, the level change was, oh, but he's locking it we up. Can, we can see the adjustments here, can't we, Michael? Yeah, it's yeah. right in front of our position. If you can see on the other side, you can see he's got it kind of locked in a... Oh, this is tough. Of hold. They both like this position, actually. They what both is. like these head and arm setups. He's relieving a bit of the pressure by going to that side, but still he's going to try... He's got a roll, there you yeah. go. He, he's going to fight the hands. He's trying to create some space by framing, but that's such uh, a... That's created more pressure. Yeah, that leg, that leg being caught could be it. Yeah, he's, he's out. He's Macron Amir Carney gets a massive victory here at London's O2. He's roaring to the crowd right now as he celebrates with his team. He needed that one badly, and he got it here at the O2. Yeah, he wasted no time. As soon as Mike Grundy got on that single, he immediately wanted to the neck, and he didn't go for the guillotine. He knew what he was going for. He was setting up that dart, locked his hands. You can take a look here. As soon as Grundy comes out, very aggressive, obviously very emotional here, and justifiably so. But look, Mac